friends, in this video I will be showing you guys what stationery and school supplies I got in preparation for my fall courses all online. So I am a second year engineering student. In my first year of university, I both had classes in person and online because of coronavirus. Having both of those experiences, I know what supplies I do need for online classes and which ones I don't. In preparation for this video, I'm making Delonia coffee. I'm sure you guys know all about it since it took the internet by storm a few months ago on TikTok. I personally did not love this trend as much as everyone else did, but I think it is nice to have once in a while. So starting off, I want to talk notebooks. My all-time favorites are the 5-star notebooks. I find the one-subject notebook with 200 pages is just perfect for me. For this school year, I decided to get both a grid notebook and a line notebook. I like using the grid one for things like chemistry where there's a lot of writing involved. I always like writing on grid paper because it makes my writing look really neat. 5-star notebooks are more expensive, but I still definitely recommend them. In my first semester, I just bought a pack of notebooks from Costco, and I definitely regretted it because all of the backs came off, and I'm sure this doesn't faze some people, but personally, I was not a fan. As well, I did not like the texture of the paper. So for all my courses in the winter semester, I went for 5-star notebooks. So this is the notebook I used for my spring course. And I really enjoyed writing on this paper as well. When things got tough, I was able to glue pages in there and it was quite nice. Your notebook is something you use really frequently. So obviously there's going to be some general wear and tear. And I personally like to avoid that as much as I can. Also, check out this back still on the notebook. Another notebook I'll be trying out this year is the Staples Arc Notebook. If you guys have seen any of my other videos, then you've probably heard me talk about this in my Happy Planner video. The great thing about this notebook is that it acts like a binder at the same time as being a notebook. You can take out the pages with ease and put them back in. As well, the notebook is very durable. You can pull on the pages and nothing will fall out. So depending on your learning style, this notebook might be completely useless, but if you like pre-writing your lecture notes or adding on other notes from your textbook, this is perfect for you. One thing I might add that buying refills for this notebook can add up, so I would recommend buying a hole puncher specifically made for this notebook. Another notebook I was introduced to this year was the Campus Notebook. This is essentially the exact same idea as the ARC Notebook, but done differently. This notebook is slightly smaller in size and thinner, and it also fits less paper. Initially, I intended to buy a notebook with a 60 page capacity, and on accident, I purchased a 25 capacity notebook. Luckily, I was able to fit 25 more pages than they recommend, so it worked out for me in the end. This notebook is more similar to a binder since it's rings open up and to go with this notebook I bought some refill sheets. So enough about notebooks and on to pens. I got some refills for my Energel needle tip pen. Currently it's one of my all time favorite pens and I love that you can refill it so you're spending less in the end. It writes really smoothly and it barely ever hiccups but this is a gel pen so it gets difficult when you have to write fast. So this year I'm finally trying out some Muji pens. I've heard some really great things about them from my university friends. As of right now, I really like how they write. They're really smooth and they have really nice color to them. So this was the first time I was trying a 0.38 pen and it was scratchier than I expected, but it does make sense. Nonetheless, it was really smooth and I did like how thin the letters were. So I didn't just stop at regular Muji pens. I also got colorful Muji pens. In the time of filming this, I didn't realize how blurry all my footage got, so that was really disappointing. But all of the colors turned out really pretty. I was not a fan of this one though, I thought it wasn't too accurate. But other than that, I really liked them. I also 
also got some Sarasa milk pens. So I've used these pens last year and I love the color they produce, but these tend to railroad a lot. But I do love that these pens match my Zebra Mild liners. And obviously I had to get Whiteout. I got this huge pack for sale at Costco. And I go through these super fast. I've tried out a few brands and the Big Whiteout is so far my favorite. It goes on smoothly and it's very dry. So this was all of my new stationery I got for the upcoming school year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.